Hi guys, welcome to the repair tutorial of the Asus M70 VR laptop. Today I'll be showing you how to replace the thermal paste in this laptop. Let's begin. You first want to start by unplugging your laptop and turning it around. Of course, closing the screen. And you want to pull this latch this way to the unlocked icon and then pull up on this tab right here and the battery should come right out. Alright, next step is to get these little cushions out. You just try, you can just lift them up. It takes some time, but if you lift them up, there will be screws hiding under them. You want to remove these two cushions here, which are labeled A and A. There we go. And then you want to remove the screws under that. Alright, with those screws out of the way, you have access to the hard drive bay. Now, when you're in the hard drive bay, if you want to replace the hard drive, you need to remove these four screws around the edges. And these are already removed in my model. Then pull back on the tab and pull up on the tab to, the, to this side. And then the hard drive should come right out. If you want to remove the hard drive from its caddy, which is not necessary for this repair, you can just remove these two screws right here, these four screws right here, and then you can just take it out. Alright, now with the hard drive out, we want to remove the screws on this bottom panel right here. Alright, now with the screws removed, we want to lift up this tab right here, and this comes right off. Right here, you can just lift up the RAM, so you just go like this, and the RAM comes right out. Alright, now like you can see, we have the heatsink and heatsink fan. I'll first take off the heatsink fan. Alright, make sure to remove the connector right here. And the heatsink fan is out. Now to remove the heatsink itself, very easy, remove the screws right here. This is a warranty void card on it, but I think since this is going to be uploaded in 2020, your warranty probably already has expired. All right, now with the screws out, let's remove the heatsink. There it goes. And there is your thermal paste, and there's your heatsink out. Now you have access to the um, GPU and CPU. The heatsink fan is clean again, so I'm right now going to leave. I'm going to leave in this thermal pad since it's still kind of good. All right. The heatsink fan is also cleaned right now, so I'm going to replace the thermal paste. Alright, like you can see, I have my tube of thermal paste, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the CPU. Just a little bit. This is a very small thing, so that is enough. Alright, now I'm going to reinstall the heatsink. So, just put it on like this, slot it in a bit, and then... Get it in place. The thermal paste a bit spread out, and let's let's put the screws back in. Alright, and like you can see, the heatsink is installed, let's install the fan. So here's the fan, let's put it in with the opening to the heatsink side, plug it in, and make sure to connect up the cable. 
There we go. And now put the two screws back into place. Alright, now with the heatsink back into place, let's put the RAM back in. So here is the RAM, it clips in pretty easily. Let's put it in at an angle and then press it down. Again, put it in at an angle and then press down. There we go. Now put, we're going to put back the top cover and put the screws back into place. Alright, with the cover now on, let's put in the hard drive. My heart of Caddy doesn't contain the hard drive because I'm wiping it right now, but yours should just contain the hard drive. So you want to make sure that this flap, when you pull it up, it points this way. So put it in like this, and then slot it in, and then tighten the screws right here and right here. Not here, because the cover is going to tighten the screws right here. Alright, with the hard drive caddy now in place, let's put it in the hard drive cover. It's pretty easy, just it slots right in and you can just put the screws in. Alright, and as a final to last step, let's put in these covers again. You just go on top of here and on top of here. And now let's put in the battery, which goes right here. And like that, that's how you place the battery, hard drive, RAM or thermal paste in your ASUS M70 VR laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in a new video. Goodbye.